What's up guys? So today I trained shoulders and back. I started out my workout with the seated dumbbell press. I like doing it seated because it takes out the lower back and it allows me to overload, which means I can lift a lot heavier. Next up was chin-ups. This is one of my favorites for the back. I use an overhand grip, which I find really helps to engage the lats. Moving on to my next exercise, this is called the Viking press. The great thing about this exercise is that it allows you to press with a neutral grip. This is often more comfortable on the shoulders. It allows you to lift heavy without any discomfort. You're sacrificing for the heist, taking everything I can, but keep your advice. This is the lat pull down. You can see I use the neutral grip attachment. For the people that tend to only feel their arms in this movement, give this bar a try. I find it makes it much easier to engage the lats. Next up we have a superset for the shoulders. You can see here I started with the lateral raise. The cables work really well because they provide constant tension on the muscle. It's also an isolation movement which means it's a great one to really target the shoulders. I then move straight into a single arm press. This is a slightly stronger movement which helps you to push past fatigue and really burn out those shoulders. This technique is known as the pre-exhaust method, which is a great way to improve activation and muscle hypertrophy. To finish up, I use the reverse fly machine. This movement is a great one to really fire up the rear delts. I'm from the youth, but I'm pursuing what I feel. Some got student loans. I got You'll also see I included some partial reps to finish off. You're always stronger when you shorten the range of motion, so this is another great way to push past fatigue and really burn out the muscle. That's a wrap for my session today, guys. Thanks again for watching. Drop a comment, give this session a try for yourself, and I'll catch you next time.